Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Luke, I'm from Bastless Wargaming, and thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, this has just literally come through my door uh, from Amazon, so I thought let's throw it on the bench and do a very, very quick unboxing video so you guys can see uh, what's inside the package. Uh, so this is what they show on the back of the box, two hydro foams, uh, a safety strap, 50 of the uh, transparency sheets, I guess you would call them, uh, or hydro sheets they call them. Um, the actual pallet itself is 13 by 8 centimetres by 19 by 8 centimetres. Has a brush holder built into it and also a bottom uh, which is protected with an anti mould agent, which is fantastic. Um, so we'll just get the cellophane off and we'll have a look at exactly what's inside the box. So, in here we have a Army Painter uh, painting guide. This is uh, a good thing just to have a look through if you're not familiar with the kind of Army Painter way. Um, you know they've got a little bit of a system to their paint um, or you know if you're a more experienced painter and you don't want to have a look at this then that's cool you can just throw this to one side uh, but always good to ha have I think um, you've then got an army painter tool guide so this is just about prepping uh, models you know how to use pin drills and clippers and scalpels and all that sort of stuff um, again but if you're, you're into your modeling you probably know what's going on there so probably not much use to you um, you then have one of these little army painter Kind of flyers and this just tells you more about the series what they do all the paints in their range and tools and all that kind of stuff but anyway so enough of the paperwork and down to the actual uh, meat and veg of what's in the box so you have the actual palette itself um the first thing i noticed about the palette is quite not small but it was sort of a convenient size it comes with this handy little bungee strap and um, they put this little protective thing on it to stop it getting scratched in transit um, so that's obviously the lid um, i'll probably use that as a dry palette as well and you then have your brush holder and your actual base. So the brush holder is like a rubberized type material. Um, I'm not sure if my standard brushes will go in there, but I think it's designed for the Army Painter brushes. Um, you then get this separate package underneath. So if I can get it open. Um, so this package has like a little Army Painter read before use. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to read that. Um, it then has like a little thank you very much for purchasing. If there's any problems, you know, contact Army Painter direct. Um, these are the hydro foam, uh, I think that's what they call them, hydro foam pads. Um, they feel a bit thin to me, so I'm not sure if you're meant to use two or one, but I'm going to do sort of a bit of research and then obviously come back with how I get on. Um, and these are the actual hydro sheets themselves, so you get 50 of those, um, and then two of those sponge uh, hydro pad type of things. So, let's put the pallets together. So I'm going to put one of these hydro pads in. Um, it's a sponge, let's be honest. I don't know why I'm calling it a hydro pad. I mean, that's what they list it as. So I'm going to use one of these initially and see how I got on. And I might sort of double it up. Um, it is. It does feel a little wet to the touch, and it, they claim to have some anti-mold agents, um, which is quite good because that's why my last wet palette died off because it uh, unfortunately got mold because I didn't clean it out. So I'm going to keep that one to the side for now, um, but I might use that at a later date. And that's it. So that's how it all goes back together. Um, we'll just throw this strap on just so it stays together. I quite like this strap actually, it's quite nice how it holds the whole wet palette together um, and you can just sort of throw it in a bag or you know whatever you need to keep all your brushes and stuff in. So that's that, so I'll report back on how I get on with the palette in another video. My name is Luke, I'm from Basilisk Wargaming. If you want to find out more information about us you can check out our website www.basiliskwargaming.co.uk uh, we do stream every night of the week, Monday through to Friday, 8 till 10 on Twitch and Facebook Live, so come hang out with us. Uh, we paint models live, it's all good fun. Uh, thanks very much for watching the video, and I'll see you real soon.